Hey, what's up guys? Mr. Freecoiner coming back to you again. Hope you guys have been doing well and taking care of yourselves. Okay, so a couple things I wanted to talk about. Well, a few things. Uh, just real quick, don't want to make it too long, hopefully. Um, so I'm not going to just go through reading everything, just kind of give you some highlights. Number one, SEC asked Coinbase to stop trading all crypto tokens except Bitcoin. This is according to the CEO, Brian Armstrong. And that is absolutely crazy, but what do you expect from the SEC? The way that they've been acting in this whole process with uh, with the way Jay Clayton left, with uh, Gary Gensler, I mean, these guys are absolutely shady. These are the so-called elite. I mean, I mean, we don't even need to get into how much they actually make, but then when they leave, they, they leave with millions, hundreds of millions in some cases, and they go to companies that they should not be going to because there are laws, right? So anyway, anything, you can expect anything from these guys. However, thankfully, Brian Armstrong did not do what he was told. He went ahead and let everything go to, uh, to court. Uh, the SEC lost the case against Ripple. Um, everything so far is looking better better than when we first started this whole journey with the sec and all the what i mean looks like corruption right our future looks a lot better today than it has and definitely well before the lawsuit ended right i mean the fact that the sec went to the ceo of coinbase and basically threatened him you know, with the lawsuit if he didn't stop selling everything else. And, and that would have destroyed the crypto industry in the U.S., which is, I'm sure, what their purpose was. So didn't happen, and that's absolutely great. Uh, but also, they did deny it. <laughs> of course. Why wouldn't they deny it, right? All right, so let's go ahead and move on. Now, I'm going to talk about something here that a lot of you guys don't necessarily take uh, seriously, but, you know, I felt the same way. And I personally believe for my, for me, it was the wrong choice. Because when I first heard about uh, Sheba, uh, there were a couple things that really kind of turned me off. Number one, it wasn't easy to get. And number two, a lot of people just kind of poo-pooed it. You know, it's a meme coin, look at Doge, not realizing that Doge climbed from <laughs> the depths up to where it is now. It's it, it got up to 70, I think it was something like 70 cents, don't quote me on that, but from multiple zeros after the after the decimal point to 70 cents, that's amazing. And then when you look at Shibarium, it dropped multiple zeros from its inception and very possibly made at least a few people millionaires. All right. Most people probably didn't take advantage of it, but you know, we get greedy. We don't pay attention, all types of stuff. Right. But if I'm not mistaken, I think at one point there was, you know, some sayings about, uh, if you had purchased a thousand dollars worth of Sheba in its early days up till October of 2021, if you had held on, you would have been uh, sitting on about $200 million, something to that effect. Now, again, most people did not take it or weren't able to take advantage of that. Uh, but and if they did hold that long, they probably didn't sell. Right. That's the greed. Either way. The fact of the matter is, the potential is there. Now, before I go any further, I do want to say I'm not a financial advisor. I am not telling anyone to buy or invest in sheep. This is simply my, um, you know, this is my opinion. I'm kind of looking at it and I'm thinking, hey, why not? But these are my funds. So I can just let you in on what my plan is. Now, again, I've made it very clear so far that I have invested in Shiba. The fact of the matter is the f that they are they have created their own blockchain. Uh, 
Um, some there's there've been a few people talking about uh, it, you know just their doubts about it. Either way, the fact is it's been around just like Doge, Dogecoin, and again they've both climbed quite nicely. Now, yes, Shiba does have quite the <laughs> quite the um, circulating supply, but it did get to a $30 billion, somewhere around there, uh, market cap. And personally, I believe it could exceed that, especially since the, uh, the coin is now just like it's everywhere. It's on, it's on many, many exchanges, whereas before it wasn't, that wasn't the case. I mean, you can even buy it on Coinbase. So when you increase the, uh, the, you know, the number of entry points, you basically inc increase the liquidity. So now, who knows where it can go in the next bull run, especially since at this point it does have a use case or they're creating a use case for itself. And uh, their, their whole point, too, is they, according to the developers, uh, uh, they said that Shibarium would have a focus on Metaverse and gaming applications, especially as a non-fungible token NFT sector is expected to heat up in the coming years. So guys, it has a use case now. So my personal opinion on it, what I plan on doing is buying more of it. I, you know, I've been buying the dips. I bought the dip that was here recent when it got down into, uh, let's take a look at it real quick. I had it pulled up when it got down a Right in here, it was uh, like point triple five, triple five, <laughs> uh, uh, five zeros, point zero 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 six five five five. Uh, I, I was buying in here, okay. So I was able to actually, you know, buy up a few of them, and I personally believe it could drop a couple zeros. And this has been said, and, and honestly, if it did that, we're looking at quite nice numbers. So my go-to calculation is based on what I've seen in the past for other coins, um, 4x higher, right? Uh, now, when you when you when your coin when the price of it is so you know so far back behind <laughs> the zero uh, the decimal point, it, it usually means that it can kind of get a more momentum. What I believe is that we could lose at least a couple zeros uh, to the point where it is somewhere around 0 0.00, maybe like three or four, something like that. So 0 0.004, if you have, if you do, well, if I was to buy about a hundred million, that would be a very, very nice profit from here, even from here. Now, it's going to cost you a bit more now, but not significant. It's not a significant amount more than where it is where it is now. So saying all that to say, the whole point of being in the crypto industry or this market is to make money. That's my whole point. Okay, that's my whole point. I still got my XRP. I still got, you know, I still I still have my initial uh, thoughts on the way things are going to go, but I do plan on adding to my bags. And uh, I think this particular coin could facilitate my increasing those bags, I'll say. Now, if this, uh, right, what was it? The last all time high was uh, point zero. Yeah, point zero 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 eight eight four five. Right. So, if it goes, uh, I think that I've read somewhere someone ex said that it could increase by ninety nine 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 zero eight percent, which would put it, uh, which would drop these two zeros. I'm sorry, which would drop this zero and put this number about right in here so just bring that eight over here that's where we're sitting again guys i'm just i'm speculating hard right now but it's not like it's completely unwarranted 
I think it's very possible we could see Sheba really do something spectacular. Now, yes, the circulating supply is quite high, but that didn't keep it from reaching uh, where it did right here, right? So I guess we'll see. We'll just have to see what happens uh, if we get, you know, 40 or if it gets up to 40 or 50 billion, maybe 60 billion uh, dollar market cap. Who knows what can happen? But again, the whole point here is to make enough profit to secure your future. That's the whole point. And especially with the way the economy is going, the way things are these days, I mean, we got to do whatever we can and, and search out every opportunity that we can. Are there other coins that we could, uh, we could maybe look at? Of course. I mean, I'm sure you guys have yours. I'm sure, uh, you, you know, you have your idea about what you plan on doing. And I'll tell you this, I would never, I would never poo poo anything that anyone else has going on. Whatever makes sense to you do that because that also is part of this uh, whole ecosystem we have to do or, or follow the things that we feel will take us uh, to the places that we want and you know this is one of those for me of course XRP as well uh, so anyway that's enough on that uh, just my take on it uh, I did want to show you this so I don't know, honestly, what other what, what exchanges Shiba was on uh, back in uh, October of 2021, but it was nothing like this. I know it, was, it wasn't on Coinbase. Uh, it wasn't on Uphold. Um, I mean, it was on those, you know, I think it might have been on Binance and like Kraken. Uh, I believe it was on um, BitTrue. Like some of these exchanges that generally some of those newer coins or less popular coins do get listed on you know so people do have entry points but it was nothing like this before uh, there, there's over 200 different um exchanges that shape is on actually it may not be exactly 200 but uh definitely over 200 i think it's like 218 pairs that shiba is uh is set up with at this moment so lots of entry points that's the whole purpose that's the whole or rather whole point uh, and it could and, and this actually facilitates that ability to to have the liquidity and, and have the buying pressure that can increase the price tremendously so we'll see what happens uh, and and guys in this next bull run the best of luck to you guys and God bless all of you all right, so enough about that. I did want to talk about a couple other things. Okay, here we are. So more on investing. Okay, so what I did uh, several months ago, I can't remember exactly when I uh, entered. It, you know what? Actually, it might have been uh, more than a year ago. I invested in a battery company. Okay, um, now that battery com company is called QuantumScape. QuantumScape, when I bought in, it was, I don't know, maybe, it, 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 was, it wasn't where it is now. I think it was less than half the price it is now. I think QuantumScape is sitting around $13 a share. So I, uh, you know, I put some money in it. I, I went ahead and just did it. I, I figured at the time it was a, a wise investment simply because of the of, of all the mandates and the laws that are coming that are soon to be coming into effect I think they have a uh, uh, you know what let me, let me okay so QuantumScape actually has um, a newer technology apparently uh, for creating or making batteries so their battery technology is is a solid state battery and this means that we could be looking at higher range, more power, all of that stuff, right? So uh, I was uh, just doing some research on this particular topic because of what's, you know, soon to be coming. And I found this company. I did a lot of research into it. 
found some good things, found a lot of good things, found some bad things, but all in all, when you're talking about solid state batteries, this is the, you know, for lack of a better word, the holy grail as far as batteries are concerned. So if this is the case, and, and they are what they are supposed to be, or they're presenting themselves to be, it could really be the investment of a lifetime. Now, we shall see what happens, but again, I am fully, you know, well, fully, I'm invested in it. Uh, I think it's, uh, I personally think it's a winner. And, you know, electric cars, you know, I don't necessarily agree with the push to force everybody going electric, but I don't think that's going to stop anything, honestly. I think we are sitting at a time when uh, this is kind of like the beginning of of the, the Internet era, right? Uh, so anyway, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm really just pointing this out because there are a lot of investments that will be coming up. For another example is uh, like solar panel recycling. I'm going to be keeping my eye on different companies that venture into this because this is going to be a big thing. Very, very big. Solar panels don't last forever. Um, houses get, you know, damaged. There's all types of stuff going on. And pretty soon, there are going to be quite a lot of houses with solar panels on them. If not, if they aren't even being built with, say, solar tiles uh, just from the, from the start, right? It's very possible. Don't know. But again, just something to keep your eye on in case there's an opportunity that opens up for you to possibly invest. So this is what I'm doing, um, just checking this type of stuff out, um, and, and we'll see what happens. We, we also have, a, just I'm going to go into something else, but hey, it's, it's a huge thing right now, right? So right now there are UFO here, or well, there was a UFO hearing uh, just last week i think it was i think monday or tuesday of last week and whistleblowers talking about you know non-human beings and the technology that they're in now uh you know as you because i don't know if you guys know any of this panel back here he's uh, uh i forget his name but um he has a uh, several um documentaries out there where he is talking about this particular phenomenon this is, of course, George Knapp. He broke the whole story with, uh, you know, when it first happened about um, Area 51 uh, with, what's his name? Oh, shoot. I'm coming up with a blank right now, but you guys know what I'm talking about. The guy that said that he saw the saucers out there, he, wo he worked out there. I can't remember his name right now. Man, that's terrible. But either way, um, this is another huge thing. Now, the only problem I have with this is that I personally have, I feel that the government has been working on this for decades. You know, some people may agree, some people, you know, may not, but they already have this information. They already have this technology. They have the propulsion technology. They have the power technology, you know, all of that. And there's, there are a bunch of other things that are going on, but because the the general public is so incredulous right most people don't believe anything outside of what they are told to believe so they're easily duped they're easily taken advantage of and that's what's going on right now they're the tech tesla uh came up came out with technologies that could have given us free energy years and years ago but i just wanted to talk about this because i find this extremely interesting very intriguing and I'm, you know, I'm going to keep an eye on it to see where this goes this year. Uh, from what I understand, a lot of people, a lot of whistleblowers, a lot of people in this industry are saying that 2023 is going to be the, the year for this. Um, now, don't get me wrong, guys. I am, you know that I've said before, I'm a complete Bible believer and I, 
I personally feel there's definitely uh, some type of an agenda behind this. But again, we'll see. Uh, we'll see how this goes. Um, yeah, very interesting, though. Who would have ever thought we'd be at this place at this time? I think it was all orchestrated. With that being said, if you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button. If you like this type of content, you know, if you find it interesting, also hit that like button just to tell everybody else you like it. And it'll get kind of put out there and more people might be able to see it. Also hit the bell notification button so you are notified the next time I put out a video. And guys, I really appreciate you. Those of you have, who have stuck with me and stayed in this journey with me or on this journey with me, thanks again. Take care of yourselves and God bless.